Hi, it's Tarina. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Here you will find makeup, hair, all things beauty and lifestyle content, so hang out and subscribe. Today I'm going to show you how to do this simple-ish makeup look. This is my go-to makeup look when I'm filming or if I have to run out of the house really quick. It's a way that I can just put my skin together. There's steps to it, but they go really fast. So let's go ahead and do this look. I've been using this MAC primer. It is the MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. I really like it. It keeps the makeup on. I've been having an issue with my makeup not lasting all day because of my skincare and I need to use my skincare because my skin has broken out and acted pretty crazy since I've gotten to Japan. So I go ahead and put this on and let it sit. Depending on how my skin is feeling, if it's a little dry and needs a little bit of moisture. Today it's kind of dry, but I know it will get oily. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC Fix Plus. This is the matte version. Gotta make sure to shake this really good. Next, I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix. This is in NC45. I recently went back to this one because it lasts all day and it is my perfect shade match. This doesn't come with a pump, so you do have to buy it separately. I thought I had a pump for this foundation, but I don't even know where I put it. So I'm going to just take a flat brush and put that all over my skin. It's very pigmented, so one pump would be enough. And my forehead is pretty smooth, so I don't really put much foundation on my forehead. I just really focus the foundation on areas of my skin that needs the most coverage. For me right now, it's these areas down here have some discoloration and acne scars. Next, I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge. It's damp and I squeezed all the water out and blend out the foundation even more, especially underneath my eyes because I don't want creasing. So I'm gonna make sure that there's not much foundation under there. Now that my foundation is done, I'm gonna be taking this L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. This is in the shade 385 amber I really like this one it is drugstore i can get it here in japan <laughs> and it definitely reminds me of the tarte shape tape i'm just going to add that on my skin in places where i want a little bit of highlight put a little bit on my eyes too since I'm not going to be doing much eyeshadow today. Now I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm just going to press that concealer in, just doing really light tapping motions. The tapping motions help to keep the coverage, but also to sheer it out. With a beauty blender, you kind of dilute the product with the water. Now I'm going to take that same Real Technique sponge and I'm going to further blend it out on my chin just to really sheer that out. And underneath the eyes, I'm going to press that here and on my eyes and my forehead. Now I'm going to take this powder by Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Blondie. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. It's a fluffy brush, but it's also kind of small. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of powder and I'm going to set underneath the eyes by just sweeping that powder. Not too much. It's going to set everywhere where I place that highlight. Now I'm gonna go in with Cream Contour. This is by Juvia's Place. This is in the shade Cameroon. It looks like this. I'm going to place this on my forehead, on my nose, and right underneath my cheek and here. Then I'm going to spray my face again with some Fix Plus. Now I'm gonna take another flat brush and blend all of that out. And I'm making sure when I blend it, I'm tapping and I'm dragging it down. And here, 
I'm pressing it, but I'm also pressing it up. And here, I'm going to press and pull it down here just to shape my jawline. Next, I'm going to take a small angle brush. It's really small, but it's kind of fluffy. Next, I'm going to take my Guerlain powder. This is in this shade 09 Intense. And every place that I put that cream contour, I'm going to go ahead and set it. I really like to focus the powder right here at my temples on both sides because it's very flattering to my face shape. I really keep all of the color on my cheeks because I want everything well blended so when I put my blush, which is going to be a little bit above it, everything is going to blend seamlessly. I'm also going to take the bronzer and use a fluffy blending brush and just sweep that over my eyes. Nothing crazy. And I'm also going to do it underneath my lash line. I just do windshield wiper motions back and forth because this is just a wash of color. Nothing too intense. When I have lash extensions, I normally don't even do this step. I just put the powder right underneath my eyes. And now I'm just going to intensify that with a small smudger brush. I'm just going to press that bronzing powder underneath my eyes. You can use bronzing powder or you can use eyeshadow too. Same, same. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going to take some brown and a little bit of black eyeshadow and I'm going to smudge it right against the lash line where I place my falsies. Smudge that right on that lash line. And I'm going to drag it out just a little bit, not too much. Now I'm going to take my mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, and I'm going to apply this on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take some Cream Blush by ColourPop. This is in the shade Pie. It is the Super Shock Blush, and I'm just going to take a synthetic brush and get that in there and apply this on my cheeks and also where I place my bronzer on the side of my face there. And for my cheeks, I'm just going to just keep going back here. I really want to concentrate that blush right in this area right here and blend it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Pat McGrath blush. This is a trio. This is the Divine Blush Plus Glow Trio. This is the Amber Allure version. I'm going to go ahead and set that cream blush. Since my skin is oily, blush is like the first thing to fade away. And I'm going to blend it out just around the edges. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face again with Fix Plus. Spraying my face in between layers allows my skin to get a little bit of moisture, but it also sets the products. Now I'm gonna take that same palette and I am going to apply some highlighter. I'm going to place the highlighter on the highest points on my cheek and then kind of drag it up here, just like a little C shape. I'm also going to put it on the tip of my nose and right down the center. A little bit on my forehead and a little bit down here. I'm also going to take a small brush and put it right in the corner of my eyes. Placing that in the inner corner of my eye and a little bit underneath my brow bone. right underneath the arch. Now I'm going to blend everything in. Now I'm going to take that same setting powder and just get a little bit onto my brush. 
with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to buff this powder all over my skin. Lastly, I'm going to just apply some lip gloss to my lips. This is by Fenty in the shade Hot Chocolate. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and you picked up something that you can do in your daily life. Check me out on my other socials. It's Tarina. Check out my website, it's Tarina.com, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.